Good morning, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. It's a beautiful day here today, and I'm so glad you're with me because I've got two things that I'm gonna show you. First of all, we will show you this beautiful cutting board that is huge. Look at this. Y'all brand, y'all sweet tea, has a limited number of these, and it has their little uh, Y'all Brands emblem on it right there. But it's great for a cutting board, which what it, that's what it is. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use it today. I'm gonna move it over for right now. And I want you to see a vegetable dip that is in volume two of my cookbook and it's on page four. Y'all, when I taught school many years ago, there was a teacher there at that time. Her name was Miss Iva Bell Moore. And when we would have parties, um, Miss Moore would bring this vegetable dip with a tray of vegetables. All the teachers loved it. But she wouldn't share her recipe until she retired. After she retired, she shared it. And now we're getting to enjoy it, and you will too. Now I'm going to tell you that the recipe is in my that's in my book makes a huge amount. I'm going to half it, but the recipe that will be on my website will be for the entire recipe. But it calls for 24 ounces of cottage cheese. Now, uh, that is, let's see, had that figured out a minute ago, how many cups? So I'm gonna start with the sour cream because the recipe calls for eight ounces, but we're, that's a cup. So we're only going to put a half a cup in here. Carol, I need your math skills. 24 ounces. Now, eight ounces is in a cup. I know that. So, how many would half of 24 ounces be? Is that a cup and, uh, is that three? three <laughs> I don't know the question. All right. The question is, how many cups is 24 ounces? Eight ounces is one cup. 24 ounces is three cups. That's right. So it's a cup and a half. Ah, good for us. <laughs> Uh-oh, I made a mess right there. I have a cloth. I'll get that up. Harold's going to get wet paper towel and get that up. Okay. So we're going to put a cup and a half of cottage cheese. So, it's a cup. I'm going to fill that halfway again. It's not going to leave much, but I like cottage cheese with some um, fruit, like peaches or pears. So I'll eat the rest of that. But that's a cup and a half. Remember, I'm half in this recipe, so you won't have to worry about that uh, if you make the whole recipe. Then, a half, one and a half cups of mayonnaise, but half of that's three fourths. I knew. I knew that I was, will you get me a clean spoon, babe? I knew that I was going to um, use that three-fourths cup. Okay. Now, I used to not like cottage cheese. So, I probably wouldn't have wanted to try this dip thinking it had cottage cheese in it. 
but you don't taste the cottage cheese and it is delicious. Okay. Now we're going to do a fourth of a cup of dill relish. Here's a fourth of a cup. Now remember the recipe calls for half a cup. Okay, fourth of a cup of dill relish. Now we're gonna put a fourth of a cup of sweet relish. The recipe calls for an on, just one envelope of Hidden Valley Ranch dressing, but I'm going to use the Y'all brand ranch dressing, and I'm going to put about a tablespoon. All right. And then Lipton onion soup mix. The recipe says fourth of the package. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna dump some. If I put a little more than a fourth, it'll be okay. But now we're gonna mix all this up and it's going to be so, so delicious. Now I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be better if you refrigerate it overnight. But I'm gonna get out some that we're gonna eat right now and then I'll put it in the refrigerator for overnight. But remember, this is half the recipe, and you see how much? I don't know if I put enough ranch. So what I'm gonna do, is sprinkle a little bit more, because we all know ranch makes sense better. Okay. That is my vegetable dip. But y'all, I told you that we're gonna use this cutting board today. And I want to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this dip, this vegetable dip in a bowl. Get the rest of that out in a little bit. Y'all see my dishes right here. This is Jewel Tea. I've started collecting that and I'm going to use it. Why well, save things for a special day? Every day that your life is special. But anyway, I'm going to put that here and then I have cut up some vegetables, some cucumbers, and I know I'll get to eat all of these because Harold doesn't like cucumbers. I have some baby carrots. Now you can fix this any way you want. You could put the dip in the middle or whatever. I have some celery, some great tomatoes. After I washed them, I put them in the little thing. And then, this is what I love to dip, so I have more of that, and that's broccoli. I turned my cutting board into a charcuterie board. 
This is what is so popular now. Now you can add other things to it, but you know, Harold and I are gonna be just as happy with just this. This board is available now if you wanted to order you one. And um, all you do is you go to Y'all Sweet Tea and they only ordered a limited number of them. Um, this was made locally and they just told the man how many they wanted. And if you go there and whatever you choose to buy, if you want tea or their seasonings or their cutting board that I've turned into a charcuterie board, when you check out for the code, put SUE, and it's all caps, S-U-E, and you'll get 10% off of anything you buy. And, you know, that helps you, but it helps me too, because if they see that you've learned about them from me, they're gonna know that I'm helping them too. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this. Uh-oh, Harold, before I go, I told him I collect this. Can you get what I found at the thrift store yesterday? I was so excited. Y'all know I love to go thrifting. Well, look, a platter. I found one of these jewel tea platters. I was so excited. And like I say, don't save your things that you like that are pretty for a special day. It's a special day today. Use your stuff and remember to be salt and light wherever you go. Jesus loves you and I do too. Y'all please comment, go to YouTube and like it and I'll be back soon.